Last Thursday, we looked at how to replace the table adapter with our own table adapter as a way of eliminating our dependency on Microsoft's SQL. The problem with this implementation, of course, is that every time you want to switch databases, you'll need to switch what table adapter the code is using. Under normal circumstances, of course, this isn't an issue. Most of us pick a database and stick with it. But there are times when we'd like to be able to have our product support multiple databases. Maybe we have a Windows application that'll work fine using an Access database, but we know that in larger installations, they'd be much happier with SQL implementation. Or maybe we have customers that just have a religious conviction towards a specific implementation of SQL. Today, I'm going to show you the first step in how to write your code in such a way that the business logic layer will not need to be changed every time you switch to data access layer. Now, one of the things that I've already done here is I've rearranged the code a little bit, um, or at least added another class. Uh, I want the um, address table adapter that we created last week to actually be an abstract class uh, and create the actual implementation that we provided last week. So I've provided a new class here called uh, SQL Address Table Adapter. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take all the code that we wrote last week, real quick here, and just copy that over into this implementation. Let's go back up here. There we go. So we want this to be SQL address table adapter. And we don't need the connection implementation here. Oh, actually we do. We, this is going to be all that code, so we do need that. Um, so that's that's moving all of our code over. Let's go back to our table adapter here and change a few things. First thing, uh, this is going to be an abstract class. So we're going to do that right there. Second thing, uh, we don't want to be able to control, uh, call the constructor on this class uh, from anywhere but from the child class. So we're going to make that constructor protected. Uh, we don't need a, a SQL connection string here. That's an implementation detail that should belong down in the child class, uh, which it is because we moved that stuff over. And we want the get data method, and actually um, any of the other methods uh, that access our data, we want all of those to be abstract methods. So we're going to make this an abstract method and get rid of all the implementation code. Remember, all this code now is uh, in the child class. And now there's one other thing that we need to do here, and that is we need to create a, an access method. Uh, so we're going to do get adapter here, and it's actually going to return uh, address table adapter. And what we're going to do is we're going to return a new instance of our SQL in this case address table adapter. And now we'll come down over here. I have a few things we need to do. We need to make this abstract. And let's just compile it here. Make sure I haven't left anything out. thinking there. Click override data set sample address data loader. Oh, 
find what the problem is. I haven't told my SQL implementation that it's inheriting from my abstract class. So there's our last implementation. We have to uh, tell it to inherit from that abstract class. Now, this is in the business logic layer. It's our adapter uh, going after our table adapter. We need to make a few changes here. Uh, one is uh, go back to our address. This get adapter really ought to be shared, or I'm sorry, static. And this is from the code last week. We actually uh, had it creating a new instance of the address table adapter. Now what we're going to do is have it go after the get table adapter or get adapter method that we have here. So let's just go call it get adapter. And now, the rest of our code is just going to work the way it's always worked. There we go. So anytime that you want to change your table adapter from, say, the SQL address table adapter to the Oracle address table adapter, all you need to do is you need to go up to your get adapter method and just have it create an instance of the child class. But all your other business logic layer is going to stay the same because it's only accessing the address table adapter code right here. <laughs> 